Welcome to Western Hall, home of the Western Illinois Leathernecks, but today it's home of the Macomb Western Holiday Basketball Tournament. I'm Alan Stout, alongside here with Aaron Stout. Illini Central looking to take on the Pittsfield Sockies here in round one. Illini Central not doing so well in the past five years. That's right, Illini Central has two and ten in their last five tournament appearances over here, not winning their first round game since 2009. But on the other end, Pittsfield's looking for their fourth consecutive trophy with fifth place and two third place in the last two years. Illini Central and Pittsfield. Illini Central looking to for their seventh consecutive win here after dropping three straight to start the season off. Just about under tip way, under tip off. Pittsfield, Saki six and four, taking on Illini Central, who are six and three. As Aaron said earlier, Illini Central not doing so well in their past past five years here. Just two and ten. While the Saki's doing very well in their past three previous tournaments. So we'll just about ready to get off here to tip off McClure, and it'll be Tyler Rylander for the, no, excuse me, Brant Bess for the Sockies. Tip will go to Illini Central. Grant Bale will have the ball. Back up top to Entwistle. Inside to McClure. McClure just can't get his fingers around that one, so it'll be turnover. Round one of today's games. Two games already played here. Both West Co Hancock and Metamore advancing already. Up top is Cameron Herring. Pass it over to Kennedy Cattleman. Back up top to Cattleman. Cattleman drives the lane, it's good. No, no good. Misses the easy layup there, rebounded by the Cougars. Bale kicks back out to McClure. McClure kicks out to Bradshaw. Bradshaw caught traveling there, so it'll be turnover. Two quick turnovers for Illini Central. We've seen a couple past games we've done. Illini Central having a few quick turnovers here early in the game. But we've seen them get control again. Illini Central setting up a little bit of press. Pittsfield breaks the press there, now in the regular offense. Barham on the right side, back up to Cattleman. Cattleman for three, it's good. And the Pittsfield Sockies are the first ones to score here on the board. Baseball pass to McClure. Last tip there by Brant Best for the Sockies, so it'll be a line at Central Basketball. 3-0, here with 6.45. Left to play here in the first. Entwistle, inbounds ball, and missed the shot. Cougars can't find a way to score here early here. Three or four series where the, car, where the Cougars couldn't get a basket. Cattleman kicks it back out to Herring. Herring pulls up for two, no good, rebound to McClure. Entwistle. On the point. Trying to get the first points on the board for the Cougars. Over to Bradshaw. Cougars played last Friday night with a big victory over Midwest Central, 88-46. Bradshaw and McClure both in 20 digits, 24 points and 21 points. Foul goes on the Pittsfield Sockies, number 14, Wade Smith. Be his first team's first. Inbound it up top to Bale. Bale kicks it over to Bradshaw. In a pass over to Unkin. Unkin for three, no good. Pulled back down by Cattleman. Cattleman kicks it up top. Right down, an easy pass to Josh Barrowman. Barrowman puts the two points up. 5-0 early for the Pittsfield Sockies. Grant Bale for three, no good. And pulled back down by Wade Smith. Cougars are cold here. Trying to get their bearings adjusted here at Western Hall. 
Different setting, college court. A little different from home. Nice pass to Duncan McClure. Duncan McClure gets his first two points and the first two points for Illini Central. Cougars trail by three, five to two. Breaking that pass rather quickly is the Pittsfield Sockies. Bradshaw gets his hands in there to get the tip pass out of bounds. So he'll stay here with the Sockies. Inbound pass into number 14, Wade Smith, but tipped away by Jared Entwistle. Line at Central, that's what they do best, is forcing turnovers. They've got to keep on doing that. They want to win this game against Pittsfield. Bradshaw, pass the elbow to McClure. McClure to Justin Unkin on the left on the three, no good. Cougars regain control. They'll reset. 4.25. Another turnover for the Cougars. There's Josh Barman on the left side for the Sockies. There's Smith being trapped down low. Back up top. Good defense by the Cougars trying to get a stop here. Cattleman. Almost gets the ball stolen away, but he regains control. And Grant Bale gets tagged with the foul there. Just trying to go for the for the ball there, and he gets a little too much hand in there. So it'll be his first, Number team's three, first. Cattleman inbound to Barrowman. Three for Smith, no good, and pulled back down by the Cougars. Both teams playing their first game here in round one action of Macomb Western Holiday Tournament. Trying to get their bearing set. Kind of a different place than playing in a high school court. Shot off range by Jared Entwistle, so the Sockies will corral the rebound. Quickly push it up the court to Smith. Kicks the bat out. Cattleman up top. Box shot by Ty Rylander, no good. But the Sockies get the rebound. Another two by Dylan Real, no good. And pulled back down by the Cougars. Still five to two with under three minutes left to play here in the first. Both teams getting a lot of missed baskets. A lot of good shots though. Into McClure, McClure turns around, squares up to the shot. It's a hand in there. Bradshaw still applying the full court pressure there. Up top to Barrowman, kicks out to Kettleman. Kettleman for three, it's good. Eight to two, Saki's on top. Bradshaw drives inside, no good. Pulled back down by the Saki's. Cougars have shot eight times and only one, making one of those baskets. Kennedy and there's an, there's another shot by Kennedy Cattleman. Unkins for three with a hand in his face. He can't find anything there. And it'll be out of bounds. New subs come in for Illini Central. Jesse Thompson, Connor Martin, and Noah Kirby. In for the Cougars. Trying to get something started here. 10 to start for the Pittsfield Sockies. Planet Central trying to find themselves in the winner's bracket. Haven't been there since 2009 and gone 0 2 the last two years. That'll be a Pittsfield Sockies timeout. We'll take a quick break and we'll come back with with more of the first quarter. This Illini Central event brought to you by Mason City IGA. Dos Amigos.
Pittsville leads 2-10. to 10. Pittsfield calling a 30-second timeout. Pittsfield looking to try to keep their lead up on Illini Central. Doing a good job of passing the ball and getting those open shots there. Line at Central, Noah Kirby rebounds the ball and pushes up the court quickly to Bradshaw. Connor Martin on the left hand side. Now Bradshaw up on top. Good pressure by Pittsfield. Trying to keep these Cougars from getting the easy shot. There's Jared Entwistle going up for the shot. He gets fouled on the way up, so he'll be shooting two. Number 14, Wade Smith picks up the socket. Wade second. Smith, number 14, second. his second, team second. As in Twistle will head to the line. First one's Returning no good. Cougars trying to do anything they can to get a basket and try to get a run together here in the first quarter. Trailing two to ten. And Twistle misses the second one, so he's 0 for 2 from the line early here in Macomb. Kellerman up top to Herring. Back over to Real. Real kind of gets in the corner there. Left side to Kettleman. Kettleman back on top. About 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Saki's possibly holding for one last shot here in the quarter. Try to extend this lead to 10. Fifteen seconds remains. Kettleman setting one last shot. Stolen away by Kirby, but he can't get a shot off. Show, it'll be two to ten. Pittsfield Sockies lead Illini Central. Once again, Kickers just need to settle down the threes like they did the other night and just feed it to the paint and they had much success getting the free throw line is what the Cougars really need to do here early Line at Central down 2-10 to 10. we'll be back right after this This Illini Central event brought to you by Mason City IGA, Dos Amigos, Nichols Chevrolet Buick in Mason City, Josh Peterson and Country Financial in Mason City, and the Illini Central Athletic Booster Club. Just about ready to start the second quarter. Pittsfield Sockies up 2-10 to 10 on Illini Central. The Cougars shooting just one for nine from the field there in the first quarter. Couldn't get anything to fall. Connor Martin gets the ball tipped away, stolen away by Ian Albers. In Twistle, drives to the lane, puts it up for two, he's good. 10 to four. Line at Central first to score here in the second quarter. Up top to Real. Back over to Bess. Herring now on top. Cougars doing a great job of getting defense and getting that tip passes. There you saw no Kirby trying to reach in there for the tip pass, but got called for the foul there. His first, team second. McClure will check back in for the Cougars, as well as Jordan Bradshaw. Bradshaw. 
On the left side to Real. Kicks it back up to Herring. Pittsfield on top here, 10 to four. As we said earlier before the game, doing very well the past three years. The fifth place finish, and then two third place finishes the last two years. On the other hand, the Cougars, 0-2 the last two years, and 2-10 and the last five years. This line of Central teams trying to change the pace of that record, trying to get on the winning side. Pittsfield try to get a basket there and pulled back the rebound and Barman gets it back and gets a nice box shot. Twelve four. No shot. Saki personal foul number eleven. Foul on Kennedy Cattleman. Said too much body as Bradshaw was trying to drive the lane. They'll take it out of bounds. Bradshaw. Albers tries to pass to Jesse Thompson, but referee said Jesse stepped on the line right there. So it'll be Saki basketball. Jared Entwistle, after getting a little breather, for, comes back in for Ian Albers. 12 to 4 with 6.20 here in the second quarter. Pittsfield Sockies. Trying to continue putting on that lead there. Line of Central looking for a stop. Pittsville pretty patient with this line at Central Defense. Trying to look for a quality shot instead of just throwing one up. Back up top to Cameron Herring. Herring over to Real. Now back over to Barrowman. Cattleman back on top. He'll try to penetrate to the base. No good. Picks it back out. Back to Cattleman for three. It's good. Three for Kennedy Cattleman. Kennedy Cattleman. Another three points. Pittsfield now extends it to a 15 to four lead. Entwistle for three. Tries to answer back and he does. Three for 15-7 now. In Twistle with five of Illini Central, seven points here. Nice double team by Illini Central, try to get the steal. But Pittsfield recovers and puts up the shot, no good. And Illini Central head back down the court. Nice crowd for Illini Central today, traveling well to Macomb. Another nice shot by Jared In Twistle. Cougars trying to cut away this deficit. 15 to nine. Saki's ended the first quarter with a 10 to two lead. Cougars on. Seven five run. Another shot missed by the Saki's. Cougars will get the ball. Inside to McClure. McClure trying to spin around to get the shot. No good. He'll kick it back out to Martin. Nice job by Duncan McClure. To, he, he finally couldn't get the shot on the baseline there and kicked it right out to Connor Martin for the three. And just like that, it's 15 to 12. Pittsfield still on top. Deficit down to three for the Cougars. Real for the shot, another missed shot for the Sockies. Entwistle, inside to Bradshaw. Bradshaw tried to kick it right in there to McClure. McClure wasn't quite looking for it, wasn't quite ready for it. And it'll be a turnover by <laughs> the Sockies. Line out Central regain control. 
Kirby, Three minutes left to play here in this first half. 15 and 12, Pittsfield on top. Unkin inbound the ball to Entwistle. Back on the right side to Bradshaw. Bradshaw drive to the baseline, puts up his shot. He'll be foul going Number on the way up. Jordan Bradshaw will shoot two. Number 25, Eli Penny picks up the Saki foul, his first, deep floor. There's the first, there's another free throw for Jordan Bradshaw. And he gets the second one as fall. So the first free throw shots for Line Central are finally made there from J Orton Bradshaw. Line Central applying that pressure. 15 to 14 with 234 left to play here in the first half. Ball tipped out of bounds by the Cougars, so stay here with the Sockies. Bounding the ball to Barrowman. Barrow will drive. Tries to bounce pass it inside to Eli Petty, but Petty can't really hang on to it, so it'll be Cougar basketball. Line at Central looking for their second consecutive win here today. Unkin open for three, no good. Duncan shot 0 for 4 already from the three-point line. And he shot 0 for 4 from the three-point line last Friday against Midwest Central. He's usually a guy that's been on behind the three-point line, but as lately, he's 0 for 8. Duncan McClure will check in for Noah Kirby. Minute 56 left in the first half here. Back up top to Cattleman. That's Nick Cattleman there, not Kennedy Cattleman. Cattleman almost stuck right there. Back up top to Barrowman. Barrowman drives to the baseline, kicks it back out to Kennedy Cattleman. Excuse me, Nick Kettleman. Over to Kenny Kettleman. Foul by Illini Central's Duncan McClure. Be his first, team's fourth. Pittsfield not really being able to get inside the three point line. Just kind of dribbling around the top, trying to get in, get a look inside. Haven't been putting up any bad shots lately. Cattleman just inside the free throw line, can't get in there. Just under a minute now, he might be trying for a last second shot. Very slow paced offense. For Pittsfield, Atlanta Central playing a very up-tempo, so they've got to kind of sag back and try to get a steal. There it is, the Jared N. Twistle with the steal. No good, but he's found the way up. So he'll get another two chances at the free throw line for Jared N. Twistle. Foul was on Nick Kettleman. It was his first team's fifth. In Twistle. Gets the first one to fall. And we've got a tie ball game now. 15-15 with 33 seconds left to play here in the first half. All 
Lionite Central has not led yet. And can't find the second one. Last time with a tie ball game was at the tip off, 0 0. Pittsfield got out to a 10 2 lead. Bradshaw with the steal. Bud regained control by Pittsfield. Kicks it back up to Cattleman. Ten seconds left. Cattleman puts it up from the free throw line. It's good. And that'll end the first half, 17-15. Pittsfield on top. When we come back, we'll have more second half action and stats. This Illini Central event brought to you by Mason City IGA, Dos Amigos, Nichols Chevrolet Buick in Mason City, Josh Peterson and Country Financial in Mason City, and the Illini Central Athletic Booster Club.
Illini Central event brought to you by Mason City IGA, Dos Amigos, Nichols Chevrolet Buick in Mason City, Josh Peterson and Country Financial in Mason City, and the Illini Central Athletic Booster Club. Back here at Western Hall, Alan Stout with Aaron Stout. 17-15, Pittsfield leads Line S Central. Here's Aaron with some halftime stats. Well, the story for the Cougars, they're shooting two for seven with three-point line, where usually is their, is their biggest help on their offense. I think they just need to keep pounding the ball inside and just seeing what happens inside, because that really helped them out the other night against Midwest to come back. And both teams really struggling. Pittsburgh only shooting 39% from the field, while I see only shooting 36%. And Antwistle leads the Cougars with eight points, with Connor Martin behind him with three. Like Aaron said, Lanai Central is yet to lead here at Macomb. 17 15, Pittsfield on top. One tie was right before half. and basket made by Pittsfield to give him a two-point lead going into halftime. Nana Central trying to regain the lead and try to pull away here. Nana Central possession in Twistle, drive to the baseline, kicks back out to Unken. Unken for three. No good. Pulled back down by McClure. McClure puts it back up. Duncan nice McClure. strong rebound by Duncan McClure to put the ball right back up. 17-17. Tied here in the start of the third quarter. Pittsfield struggling as of second quarter. Cougar foul, Staying with the Cougars, though. Six to five on turnovers. Pittsfield with the most more turnovers. Six to five over Line Eye Central. Kicks it back over the right side to Cattleman. Cattleman can't find the basket. But Unkin can't regain control of the rebound, so the Sockies will put it back up. He's fouled on the way going up. I mean, Josh Barlman, he'll head the line for the Sockies. Trying to take the lead again. First one's good, just barely finds the net. Kind of hit the front iron, fell right in. Barman looking for a six point, and he gets it. 19-17, Pittsfield back on top here in the third quarter. Game number three here at Macomb. Two already played, Wes Hancock and Metamore advancing in the winner's side. Inside McClure. McClure drives it, double team, puts it up. But he's gonna call a jump ball. Ball will be a turnover, it'll be, it'll be Pittsfield ball. Herring. Kicks it back up to Cattleman. Trying to break that defense of Illini Central. Skip pass. Over to Barman. Back on top to Herring. Smith. Back on top to Barman. Once again, Pittsfield slowing down their offense. Trying to get a nice shot. Line at Central playing up tight, trying to get the stolen pass. And there's a stolen pass by Duncan McClure. Line at Central needs to keep, kick, stick to their game. Stolen passes. Nice transition baskets. Much slower paced game than we're usually used to seeing when Line at Central plays. 
I think that's due to the fact that Pittsfield is slowing down the basket. Nice turnover from the Pittsfield Sockies right into the Intwistle, and Intwistle dishes it downside to McClure. McClure with another basket. Another tie ball game, 19-19. 5-28 left to play here in the third quarter. Tip pass by Intwistle, so it'll stay here with the Sockies. And here comes number 42, Dylan Woodward. He'll come in for the Sockies. Kettleman being double teamed by Bradshaw McClure. Now Kettleman on top. Pass over to Smith. Back to Kettleman. Sold away by Intwistle on the fast break. But he'll kick it back out to kind of reset the offense. Intwistle for three. He three. finds the net. 22-19. That'll be Illini Central's first lead of the ball game. Bradshaw with the steal and a basket. Jordan Bradshaw playing man-to-man -man defense down there. Got the steal and the basket. Hill at the line shooting one. See Illini Central getting their success out of their defense with their, with just their tough guard defense. And that'll be a full timeout by Pittsfield Sockies. This Illini Central event brought to you by Mason City IGA. Dos Amigos. Nichols Chevrolet Buick in Mason City. Josh Peterson and Country Financial in Mason City. And the Illini Central Athletic Booster Club. Illini Central leads 24 to 19. Illini Central out to a 9-2 run here in the second half. Just gained their first lead of the game. Two quick steals by Illini Central to get that lead. Bradshaw looking for the three-point play after being fouled, after shooting the layup. And Bradshaw makes that. He's three for three from the line today. 25-19, 4-40 left to play here in the third quarter. Line at Central playing that press. Pittsfield easy to break it. A layup by Josh Bowerman. And a turnover by the Cougars. Bradshaw trying to Get his finger in there, but last touch by the Sockies. So it'll be Cougar basketball. Twenty-five, <coughs> twenty-one. Cougars on top. In twistle on top for three. It's no good. Rebounded. Almost poked away there by. McClure, but McClure is going to be called for over the back. He tried to get the tip in from the rebound, but uh, a little too much body there, and the ref's going to call for the foul. That's McClure's third foul, so he'll take a seat on the bench. Kirby and Bradshaw check in for the Cougars. Stopped again there in Pittsfield. Pittsfield playing a very patient offense, trying not to turn over the ball. Line at Central has been doing a very good job of getting the steals, and there's another steal by Justin Umkin. Cougars keep on forcing turnovers. That's been the key to their game the past couple games we've seen them. 
Inside pass to Unken. Unken can't get the little runner. But Bradshaw gets the stolen steal. And Twistle with the spin move. Can't find the basket. Pulled back down by the Sockies player, number 22, Dylan Reel. But he's fouled by Noah Kirby. Be Kirby's third foul. So I imagine that's be Kirby coming out. Yep, Kirby's coming out and Connor Martin coming in. Both Kirby and McClure with three fouls. Baseball pass down to Ethan Barman, but swatted away by Jordan Bradshaw. Nice little runner by Jared Entwistle. He's found the way going up. Number 42, Dylan Woodward picks up the Swaggy foul. That's his first. Going to the lane with traffic, getting the foul. Entwistle, 13 points. Make that 14. 28-21. Ball stolen away by Grant Bale. Regains control. Passes it to Bradshaw. Bradshaw gets the basket with traffic. Foul on the way going up, so he'll go to the line. Number 22, Dylan Real picks up the Rocky foul. His first. Fouls on number 22, Dylan Real, his first team's third. Two forty-nine left to play. Line at Central pulling away now. Nine-point lead on Pittsfield. Bradshaw gets the three-point play. Three play for Jordan Bradshaw, 31-21. Pittsfield. Still being patient. Turn the ball over as of late. Couple possessions. Trying to look for a good shot here. Line Eye Central forcing 14 turnovers thus far on Pittsfield. Pittsfield playing very patient, forcing Line Eye Central kind of slow down their play. Line Eye Central. Usually being keeping the up, to keep a, up tempo game. Bradshaw's going to be calling out a foul. It'll be his first team's fifth. So it'll be Pittsfield ball. S tipped away and almost stolen away by Jared Entwistle. Said his last touch by the Saki. In for Pitchfield, number four, Nick Cattleman, and number 33, Ty Rylander. Saki's will inbound it to Ethan Barman. Barman over to Rylander. Back up top to Petty. Natal Cattleman. Little leading pass there to Nick Kettleman. Kicks it back out to Ethan Josh Barman. or Ethan Barrowman. And gets the two points there. And Twistle on the right corner. And Twistle make tries to get the basket. Doesn't get it to fall, so he'll head the line shooting two though. He's fouled the way going up. Can't find the first one. Returning for Central, number three, Grant Bale. Grant Bale will come in for Jordan Bradshaw. Ten. 
in Twistle, trying to get the second one here. And he gets it to fall. Thirty-two twenty-three. Line Eye Central on top. Nine point lead for the Cougars. A three by the Sockies, no good. Corralled down by Ian Albers. In twistle, push the ball up the court. In twistle from the free throw line, no good. Last touch, she said, by Ian Albers, I believe, so. It'll be Saki basketball. No, excuse me. Ian Albers went up for the rebound and was called for the foul, so it'll be Ian's first foul. Team six foul. Cattleman kicks it back over to Nick Cattleman. Over to Petty. Back on top to Smith. 25 seconds left to play here in the third quarter. Nice inside pass to Ty Rylander for the shot. Makes it 25-32, Atlanta Central lead. 10 seconds left. Last second shot for Atlanta Central. Kick out pass to Connor Martin. Connor for three, no good. Rebounded by Entwistle. Got the basket. Jared Entwistle gets the basket at the bu buzzer. 34-25. And with that basket, Jared Entwistle passes up Danny Harmon on the Atlanta Central all-time leading scorers. Danny Harmon had 1,123 points. And so now Entwistle will have 1,125 points. So congratulations, Jared Entwistle, moving up on the leading scorers list for Illini Central. 34-25, Illini Central leads heading into the fourth quarter. Nine-point lead for the Cougars. Cougars were able to speed up the game, get their turnovers like they're used to doing. That's what helped the Cougars get their lead out back in this game. Illini Central forcing turnovers. Outscored the Sockies 19 to 8 by forcing 14 turnovers. Jordan Bradshaw coming in for the Sockies, number 20, Ethan Carlin, and 22, Dylan Grillo. Connor Martin will inbound the ball for the Cougars. Eight minutes left to play here in the fourth quarter. Connor Martin couldn't gain, couldn't get the ball under control, so thrown away by the Sockies. Remember, the Cougars will either play Illini Bluffs or Rock Ridge tomorrow at 5:30 or 10:30, depending on the outcome of this game. Cougars is up nine points, 34 to 25 here. We'll try to have those games for you live as well. If the Cougars win, it'll be at 5.30. If they lose, it'll be at 10.30 tomorrow morning. Played at Macomb High School. Bradshaw. Timeout by Illini Central. A full timeout for Illini Central. This Illini Central event brought to you by Mason City IGA. Dos Amigos. Nichols Chevrolet Buick in Mason City. Josh Peterson and Country Financial in Mason City. And the Illini Central Athletic Booster Club. Here at Western Hall, Illini Central leads Pittsfield Sockies 34-25.
Cougars will inbound the ball after a timeout from John Giesler. Bradshaw on top. Inside pass to Entwistle. Can't find it. Try to tip back in, but pulled back down by the Sockies. Good ball pressure by Bradshaw. Cattleman on top. Stolen away by Bale. Bale is going to keep it for the layup. No good. McClure gets the rebound and puts it back up for the basket and foul away going up. Lanai Central gained the lead here in the third quarter and haven't given Pittsfield a chance to come back and regain that lead. 36-25, Illini Central's largest lead of the night, 11 points. Three lead changes before Illini Central finally took the lead here. Never looked back. And a man pressure by Illini Central coming up the court. On the left side. Pass inside to Kettleman. Kettleman can't get his hands around it, so Bradshaw found it right in his hands. Another turnover for the Sockies. Bradshaw in traffic, throws it up, gets the basket. 39-25 Illini Central with a 5.50 left to play. Carry in violation for Pittsfield. 18 turnovers for Pittsfield now. Illini Central forcing a lot of turnovers. That's the main part of their game is forcing a lot of turnovers. And that's how you get these big leads. Great ball pressure. As well as great shooting, great passing. Duncan with two men on him. Tries to get his own rebound. Can't grab it. Just went off his fingertips there. So it'll be Saki basketball. Five twenty-five left to play here in the game. Just a little over five minutes. The line at Central will find themselves in the winner's bracket for the first time since 2009. Playing the winner of either Rock Ridge or Illini Bluffs. That game is next. Pittsfield going to be in the loser's bracket if they can't find a way to find the win for this game. First time in a couple of years that they've been in the loser's consolation bracket. As I said earlier, in fifth place finish and then two third place finishes the past two years for Sockies. A little bit of double teaming there on Herring. Drives a baseline layup. Easy baseline, baseline layup for Wade Smith. Wide open, just drove to the basket there. Played a little up there for Illini Central. Bradshaw being double, pre double teamed. Tries to throw it to Unkin. Unkin can't corral the pass. I've passed a little too high for, from Bradshaw. Blocking foul there by Jared Entwistle. Try to get the charge call. Cougar personal foul, number 14, Jared Entwistle, his first. Team at seven, down the line for Mixfield. Number 42, Dylan Woodward. Dylan Woodward. Can't get the basket. Ball kind of get loose down there on the baseline. 
McClure Reeds gains control, and the Cougars will head back down this end. In Twistle with a little runner. Wanted a foul there. No foul called there to help In Twistle. Block shot by In Twistle. Last touch by Saki, they said, so it'll be a turnover. Saki's fans aren't very happy about that call. Uh, Jared Intwistle last touch that one. But the call is final, so the Cougars get the ball. 39-29, Cougars on top with a 10-point lead here with 3.20 left to play. Nice bounce pass down to Duncan McClure. Puts up the shot, though, and he'll head to the line. Gets a little contact on the way up there. Number 14, Wayne Smith, Mississippi Valley's third, Team 6. McClure with nine points, make that 10 points. McClure averaging 14 points a game. He's been a great inside man for Illini Central. Makes the second one, 41-29. Cattleman being double teamed. Found his open man in real. Saki's put up the shot. No good rebound. Wade Smith. Another great shot by Wade Smith. A little jump pump fake and went to the basket and get the layup. Nice pass into Duncan McClure. Another quick pass to Jordan Bradshaw. Another good ball movement. Nice crisp pass, find the open man. Doesn't give Pittsfield any chance to catch up. Cattleman's open for the three. He finds it, he calls a timeout. 43-34, 2.25 left to play here in the third quarter. Fourth quarter, excuse me. Illini Central event brought to you by Mason City IGA, Dos Amigos, Nichols Chevrolet Buick in Mason City, Josh Peterson and Country Financial in Mason City, and the Illini Central Athletic Booster Club. Back here at Western Hall, Illini Central leads Pittsfield Sockies 43-34. Cattleman shooting the three-point ball and then quick timeout by Coach Brad Tomev. Sockies now in a full court press. Trying to get a turnover. Illini Central pretty quick to break that press. Foul's going to be on Ethan Barlman. A little too much body there on Jared Number Entwistle. 20, Ethan Barlman picks up the Saki foul. First. So that'll send Jared Entwistle, Entwistle to the line. Gomez. Shooting the one and one. Entwistle just three for seven from the line today. And he gets the first basket. And gets a second one to fall. As we mentioned earlier, Entwistle just passed up Danny Harmon on the Atlanta Central all-time leading scores. Evan Arnold will top that list with 1,951 points for Atlanta Central. Entwistle on top. Minute 50. Nice drive to the basket. 
by Jared Entwistle. Kind of split the defender there. Pittsfield can't find the basket now. Kind of gone cold the last couple times down. Another body called. Body foul called on Ethan Barrowman. Number 20, Ethan Barrowman. He is second, team's eight. And he'll send in Twistle to the line, shooting the one and one is again. Our basket for Jared Entwistle. Looking for the second one here. Can't find the second one. A good night for Jared Entwistle though, 22 points. Right side. Ethan Barman puts up the shot, no good. Now under a minute for Atlanta Central. They lead by 12, 48-36. And Twistle trying to dribble around, trying to kill the time here. You could say Atlanta Central has this one in the bag. 48-36 with 42 seconds left to play. And for the first time since 2009, they'll be heading to the winner's bracket. They'll be playing either Rock Ridge or Atlanta Bluffs, so Playing next, right after this ball game. First one's no good by Bradshaw. 12 point deficit, Pittsfield trying to kill. Nice shot by Wade Smith. And Twistle just trying to dribble out the time, trying to avoid the the fouls from Pittsfield. There, Ethan Barman finally catches up with Entwistle and gets the foul, so he the line again. Shooting the one and one. Number 20, Ethan Barman is charged to Pittsfield. Foul Excuse me. Third, That'll be ten. team's 10th. Sure, She'll be shooting Twistle two here. Entwistle with already 22 points. Can't find the first one. Jared Entwistle shooting six for 12, just 50% from the free throw line tonight. But he gets a second one to fall. 15 seconds as Osaki's inbound. Three pointer for the Sockies, no good. Pulled back down and blocked by Duncan McClure. Barlman got the quick rebound, but Duncan McClure just swatted away. <laughs> Cattleman on inbound to Barman. Barman kicks out to Real. Real for three, no good. Rebound by in Twistle, and that'll be in a regulation. 49 38. Line Central advance to the winner's bracket playing tomorrow at 5 30 at Macomb. Officially, Tournament. Jared Entwistle scored 23 points today. And Duncan McClure with 11 points would help Atlanta Central this 49 to 38 lead. That'll be it for Western Hall. For Aaron Stout, I'm Alan Stout. Hope you join us tomorrow for Atlanta Central Cougar Basketball.